Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here. Just got to see The Quiet Ones, which I didn't know too much about this. I saw a couple of trailers. I feel like the trailers, too, don't, probably if you haven't seen them, don't look at them, because they kind of give away a couple things in them that I feel like they really didn't, didn't have to show. Like, it was a couple things that were kind of given away where certain things that were happening in them. But it was essentially the movie's about this professional, professor and he, two of his students that are working with him, and he kind of is somebody who documents kind of people who have been kind of like possessed and is trying to cure them. He's not like a priest or anything like that, but more like somebody who's trying to do it in a scientific way and trying to prove that these people are kind of like manifesting these things and trying to get them out through science and bring them out of them and he has this one kid who's you know he finds who's his becomes his cameraman who ends up you know kind of following him around with this with these these other students and documenting you know what ends up happening and he has this one girl that's kind of in his care that he took out of the mental asylum who is you know believed to have this kind of manifestation of this character, this woman, this, this girl with her, and it's kind of him locking her in this room and then kind of doing experiments and, you know, filming them and trying to get the entity out of her and to try and, like, talk to it and do certain things with it. It had some really pretty interesting, you know, Hammer films, you know, it was done by Hammer, you know, who's come back with the, I think it came back with Let the Right One In was their first one when they came back, but before that, I mean, after that, then it was the um, Woman in Black, which was really pretty good. They, they they do a really good job giving their movies a 70s vibe, just like with The Woman in Black, it had an old school vibe. This one was set in the 70s. They did a really good job on the look of the 70s, on the wardrobe, on the hair, and all that kind of stuff. That was some of the best aspect to it. Also, the stuff when they were actually shooting with the film. I don't know if they actually shot, you know, on film or not, but it really did give it a really cool look, and it really did work. I thought it was some some of the better aging film to make it look like it was, you know, 70s film. A lot of times, you can tell it really doesn't work. This had some creepy aspects to it, and I liked this better than Oculus, which was one of the last ones I saw in the theaters. I thought it was a little bit more, you know, Oculus wasn't bad. I, I liked Oculus, but was just a little bit more interested in this, and there were some pretty creepy vibes to it. It's not like a there was a couple cheesy jump scares in it, you know, one or two of them. A lot of the stuff was done with sounds and things like that, um, but it was actually pretty well done. I could tell, though, it's one of those movies when they were shooting it, you could kind of tell they were shooting it to kind of be R-rated, and a couple things were kind of cut back. It was one of those movies where it could have been either way. Hopefully, when it comes to Blu-ray, they do an uncut edition, which I have a feeling they're going to do because there's a lot of more stuff that I think that they could have shown. Uh, out of five stars, probably three and a half. Um, wasn't absolutely terrible or anything like that. Like I said, I actually really did get into it. I thought it was pretty creepy. They showed a trailer, though, to another movie, which I'm really looking forward to seeing, filmed in cat in the catacombs, which is a really creepy setting of them crawling through these catacombs with all these skeletons and bad things happening, which looks like a really pretty good one. Anyway, though, guys, let me know what you guys think of the movie. would love to hear your thoughts, and I'll see you guys later.